Hello Rimfire friends and my friends. Today is day four of the five knives and five days challenge. Before you I have my Leatherman PST, the original version. I've had this um, multi-tool for many years. It, like most of my things that I have had for a long time and enjoy, I have fully customized. Well, I guess not fully, but to suit my needs. So those observant viewers will notice that it is uh, wearing a, a Leatherman, I forget what model it's from, I think I want to say it's a Wingman Rev or something like that clip that I um, flux core welded a couple of years ago out of frustration for the lack of a pocket clip on this and it stayed there ever since. It's uh, a very, very um, good friend of mine, this multi-tool, and um, looks are secondary, obviously. So I actually picked this up, man, years and years ago. And um, it's always in my range bag or it's, it's always in my truck. And uh, I think it was a big miss that they never had a pocket clip like the Leatherman original side clip. Um, because not everybody wears, you know, belts and sheaths and that sort of thing. So the clip really made it handy. I've modified it in a few ways. But it's the original... Leatherman PST, you can see the pliers are still in excellent shape. I have used them pretty hard, as you can see, but I try to keep it pretty reasonable. Now, for those of you who don't know, you can date your Leatherman by looking inside the handle scales right there. So this one was made in uh, January of 1994. The other side says the same thing. Sometimes they're different, but it just, you know, doesn't mean much. So this one's from 1994. I have customized this one by uh, installing an original wave set of, so before the wave was locking, it says non-locking and it had probably the best pair of scissors that Leatherman ever offered. So I have modded this particular um, PST to have those. Now the PST never had scissors, the PST2 did, but it had a um, partially serrated blade, and this is a plain blade. So I've modified that um, a couple of years ago, as I like scissors on my multi-tool. Um, everything else is pretty standard. Um, probably the best multi-tool they ever made. I think the knock against this one has always been the uh, kind of the way it bites into your hands because of the thin metal profile. I never found it as such, so it doesn't bother me at all. But with the clip and the scissors, it's pretty much the most ideal multi-tool I could ever consider. So anyway, this is my day four entry of the five knives and five days challenge. I want to thank you guys as always for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to uh, answer them. If not, I will catch you guys tomorrow for day five.